the Lionel pre-orders are beginning to ship. We're going to take a look next on Mark's Lionel Trains. All right, what we have here today is the last of my planned unboxings, and I have to tell you, I wasn't expecting this today. Uh, it is a very cold day in the Chicagoland area, so I apologize for my heater going on. What we have for you here today is the brand new Lionel Legacy Southern Pacific SW8, number 11. O2. And uh, I ordered this back, oh gosh, in uh, last January. It is carton number 10. I was interested to see how many they made, but they only say carton number 10. They don't say 10 of however many they are. But uh, this will be pretty cool. I uh, ordered this because I really have one that I bought from the train store. Uh, it's a New York Central. Uh, this was uh, offered in the Big Book Catalog 2021. They offered eight different road names. They offered the New York Central, which I also ordered, uh, the Rock Island, Conrail, uh, Coors Brewing Company, Seaboard Coastline, Strasburg, Boston and Maine, Southern Pacific, like the one we have here. And uh, yeah, this will be pretty cool. So we're going to check it out now. I'm going to open it up. And uh, see what we got. The space capsule car is supposed to be here tomorrow. So we'll check that out too. Oops, don't want to damage the locomotive already. Out of the box, awesome. Don't want to do that. All right. Okay. Oh, it has a protective. I, when they don't have this protective piece of cardboard in there, I uh, make one and put it in there. Uh, just uh, for added uh, protection sake, that's for sure. Let's get it out of the container here. The shipping box so oh, they have uh, one on the other side as well that's awesome cool all right let's take a peek what we got there's the, the label i'll show you all the label there's the label we have southern pacific legacy and uh this has uh legacy control bluetooth control legacy rail sounds uh fan driven smoke and it is managing o31 curves so it's friendly for all those smaller layouts kind of i have o36 for the most part but uh, eventually we're going to uh, up that to o60 got o60 under the christmas tree right now so let's open it up okay we have the styrofoam box like usual and we'll Knock it off like this and get it out. All right, there's the owner's manual. Cool. All right, there's the packaging. It's the owner's manual. SW8 diesel switcher. Owner's manual. And we'll see. I hope it has gray trucks. It looks like it has the black trucks, just like it was advertised. So that's okay. Um, I had a, uh, one of these, it was an Alco S2 that I ordered last year from Legacy Station. And um, I had nothing but trouble with that. It was used, uh, it wouldn't uncouple, and it was in this color and it was advertised as uh, black. I thought it was black and I was really disappointed opening the packaging that it was gray. But uh, I, it kind of grew on me. And now that uh, Lionel ordered uh, or uh, offered this one, I had to have it. Okay, let's get this on the uh, test bench and get it out of its packaging. Right, we will very carefully pull it out of here. I don't want to damage any of the railings. So there it is, out of the packaging. Cool, boy, that is really sweet. I like that. I bought it because I love these uh, uh, laid up, uh, these um, road number boards here on top. I thought those were really cool. So there it is, the bottom of it. This has uh, one drive motor in the uh, center of the uh, thing, in the, or the um, engine, and it uh, has uh, drive shafts on each side that power the uh, gears on each one of the trucks. So, all right, let's get this going. Okay, just from having this on a test bench uh, and giving it a new road number, uh, they've made some improvements in the sound card, that's for sure. I'm going to uh, upgrade date the legacy system with the um, Sensatrack, so. So that that startup. That's a little different.
to update my legacy controller when it passes over the sensor track. Hopefully it does it. Yep, there it goes. Picks it up. Now we have a legacy locomotive. Cool locomotive, I must say. It's really a beautiful specimen. It's really awesome. It's got the uh, the F here, Southern Pacific. All the detail is just awesome. I did notice that this might be an LED, but it doesn't seem to light. I'm not really sure. The number board does not light. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but we'll have to find out. It has a uh, black bell on there uh, instead of the uh, silver bell that the SW7 has in the background there. The SW7 is representation, re representation in the background. Uh, the Alco that I did have had uh, gray trucks. I believe the real SW8 has gray trucks uh, from my picture back there, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to paint it or anything, but yeah. There is the actual SW8 on the wall. There's a view of the rear of the locomotive, has all the beautiful uh, grab irons, everything's beautiful on here, all painted nicely. The, the paint is just awesome on this uh, model, it's, it's just gorgeous. All right, the controls are underneath this little hatch here. This number board here makes it really difficult to get the little grab iron there, so I just use my engineer guy and he just pulls it right off. And there you see the controls, you have the, uh, the program switch, uh, the Bluetooth on and off, and the smoke on and off. And it's got a little magnet catch on there and you just pop it back on there like that. And the front of the locomotive has the same number boards in the front. It has nice uh, detailing here in the little corners here. This is really awesome with these little detailings there. That's really cool. It's really nice hand railings again. All the fit and finish looks really uh, sweet in this model. It's really nice. I think that'll focus in very well, but there's a crew figure in that left window okay, there. Okay, all that's left to do is start her up, and we'll pull some trains and listen to some of the new crew talk. This is the dispatcher. Start her up. Stand by to pull. Over. Copy that. Starting up the engine. Out. Some new crew talk there. Interesting. This is uh, Tower Com or 7 on your controller. Anybody else going to be out there with you? No, 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 I haven't heard anybody all day here, yo. Train orders may hold the siding until 44 clear. Then we can take the main. He should be through any minute. And then the uh, st other one is Crew Talk, I think, number 2. Dispatcher, made up and waiting on the clear track. Can I go? Standard bell. Alright. Horn. I like that horn. I, I usually leave them just stock. They're awesome. But it comes with five different horns and five different bells. I think you press Uggs too to change them. I'm not 100% sure. I'd never really change them. Alright, let's hook up some cars. Alright, I have my engineer on there. I have some cars hooked up some Menards boxcars. I picked up four more of the uh, Menards tankers and uh, we'll do some running on that. Let's uh, do Augs 1 and see if the um, auto start works. And it does. And we're ready to roll. Are we cleared on mainline? Over. Please clear for your move. Out. 
a good sign. All right, thank you very much for watching uh, this special uh, edition of Mark's Lionel Trains. I had no idea this locomotive was going to come today. All right, pretty awesome locomotive. Uh, they still have them uh, available in aftermarket uh, stores like uh, Mr. McMuffins and uh, Train World, I think, has some available still. They are not available in the Lionel store anymore. They are sold out. I did order my New York Central from Mr. McMuffin, so we'll be doing a, uh, a review of that one when it gets here, probably sometime at the end of the month. But definitely, thank you for watching uh, this surprise episode of Mark's Lionel Trains. Thank you, subscribe. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. Thanks for your thumbs up. Thanks for watching.